Tommy. Mother. Oh, you're so cold. Was the journey awful? Come and get warm. Mr. Harrison, I must congratulate you on your services to horology. Your machines are truly masterpieces. As for the longitude, well, you came close. But I think you must admit that the matter is now best left with the astronomers. Would you like some wine? Yes, I think I would. Mr. Partner, do we have any wine? No, madam. Oh, dear. I'm afraid you'll find us rather dull after London. Would you like some sherry? No, thank you. Perhaps a whiskey after dinner. Oh, have some now, dear. Mr. Partner, a little whiskey for Rupert. So, dear, have you thought what you're going to do? No, Mother. No, I haven't. May I come in? I'm sorry to call so late. John! It took me a long time to find you. What's happened to you? Did you not hear about us then? You stayed on the Centurion. Aye, I'm a lieutenant now. Sailed around the world with Lord Anson. And I'm a rich man. My share from the capture of the Hacienda was 217 pounds. Oh, so this is the new one. I heard that you were building another. Oh, sit down. Can I get you something? No, thank you. I sailed in the company of 961 men, sir. 203 returned to England. Of the 760 who died, only 48 were killed by enemy action. And the rest? Disease. Despair. We were lost. Weeks on end without sight of land, fresh food, water. Although much of the time we were within six hours sailing with Juan Fernandez, but we'd mistook our position. Didn't know it. I saw more men die than any Roman emperor. Men who you'll remember, and who remembered you. John Sprague, Lieutenant Draper, the mess boys, Ned and Seth. Didn't even make 14. We all heard about the Orford and how your machine performed as we sailed hopelessly on heaving man after man over the side. Have you seen a man die of scurvy? No, I haven't. The body starts to swell like a balloon. Legs are the worst, so that every movement causes pain. Then the skin starts to split, horrible bleeding gashes. Your tongue grows in your mouth, and the throat swells so that eating and drinking it's impossible. Death is a release. I thought only of one thing. A piece of twisted brass spinning. There, look. Its little heart still beating. I thought to myself, this will never happen again. There'll be a machine to tell us where we are. I swore that if I lived, I'd come and find you. John, when they were dying, who did your men curse for their misfortune? Their god or their admiral. When you're afloat, there's little difference. And if there's a clock, and the clock didn't work. 
and the men still died. Who would they curse then? When you're young, you think that anything is possible. But as you grow older, you discover that it isn't. Well, then don't grow older, Mr. Harrison. Thank you.